I wanted to be with the best. The resources here are outstanding. We're going to immerse ourselves into the culture of Louisiana. Um, we're not here to change anything. We're here to get changed by it. Hello, Tiger fans. Welcome to the first edition of Inside LSU Football for the 2022 season. I'm Bill Frankes. It's a pleasure to be with you here for the beginning of the Brian Kelly tenure at LSU. The Tigers got the season underway in the Caesars Superdome against Florida State. And later on in the show, we'll give you all the highlights of the Tigers game with the Seminoles. Also, we got some special features for you in today's show. We have a special feature on B.J. Ojolari, number 18. He received that prestigious jersey uh, back in fall camp. The junior defensive end from Marietta, Georgia, one of the team leaders this season for LSU. He's also one of the team captains, along with Mike Jones, Jr., the linebacker, and defensive end Ali Gay. We'll also get an inside look at the Tiger team captains and what they mean to the LSU program. So, special features, game highlights, We'll hear from Coach Kelly about the Florida State game. All of that coming up after this on Inside LSU Football. Inside LSU Football is brought to you each week by the seven partners that represent Team LSU. Cox, the official communications provider of LSU Athletics. McDonald's, official sponsor of the LSU Tigers. Our Lady of the Lake, official health care provider of LSU Athletics. Albertsons, the official grocery partner of LSU Athletics. Hancock Whitney, the official bank of the LSU Tigers. People's Health, the official health plan of LSU Athletics. And by Coca-Cola, official beverage partner of the LSU Tigers. before us. Ours begins. This segment of Inside LSU Football is brought to you each week by Bud Light. Welcome back to Inside LSU Football. Time now to take an inside look at one of the leaders of the LSU football program. He is wearing the prestigious jersey number 18 this season, defensive end B.J. Ojolari of Marietta, Georgia, one of the top DNs in the country and also a fantastic leader both on and off the field. Let's take a look at B.J. Ojolari. Maybe what we do is we bring um, a game jersey out with his name on it. Has anybody else got anything that I forgot? And Lewis will go, yeah, 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 coach, you forgot this, and he brings it up. Any other announcements that I didn't make that I'm supposed to? Coach, I have something. Okay, yes. Uh-oh. Yes. And it 
is this person right here. I won't have the jersey. <laughs> I'm just at a loss of words for being able just to wear this number. <laughs> the choice. What do you mean? Best choice. It's a guy that raises the temperature of everybody in the room. He does it by his presence. He does it by his actions. He's somebody that you want to follow. Just put a one in front of that eight, and you got 18, man. That's him. I've seen his character every day. He's instrumental in what we're doing. I'm very proud of you. Appreciate it. Let's get it. I'm leaving my legacy at LSU. Once you wear number 18, you know, you can't go back. You're going to be forever 18. with the new style and the white helmets. The rising from the ashes analogy. Third throw of this draw. Davey wants more. One three. Touchdown! He's putting an exclamation point on it in the Nokia Sugar Bowl tonight. This segment of Inside LSU Football is brought to you each week by Our Lady of the Lake, official health care provider of LSU Athletics. We're back on Inside LSU Football. You know, just before the season started, Coach Kelly announced his three defensive team captains, B.J. Ojolari, Ali Gay, and Mike Jones Jr. Those three guys will serve as the defensive captains, and there'll be a rotating set of offensive captains throughout the season. But these three guys on defense are phenomenal, both on and off the field. Ali Gay, a defensive end, the first person in his family from the Gambia, Africa, to earn a college degree in America. Mike Jones Jr., transfer from Clemson, did a tremendous job in the middle linebacker spot toward the end of last year. He's one of the leaders on the defense this season. And of course, B.J. Ojolari, who we met in our previous segment, just an outstanding young man, uh, went to the NCAA Leadership Symposium, did a fantastic job of representing the LSU football program. Let's take a look at our 2022 defensive team captains. I want to announce captains. We had voting for captains, and uh, it was pretty revealing uh, in terms of who they are. But our first captain is Mike Jones. Come on up here, Mike. Ali Gay, B.J. Ojolari. Congratulations. Um, you know, I'm honored to be captain, but you know, that, that compliments everybody and what everybody's done over the you know, last, till the spring and the summer to this, to this day. So, thank you. Appreciate it, man. And I'm just glad to be able to represent and be a face of the, of the team and the face of the defense. I ain't gonna lie, y'all boys really been holding it down all year, man. I can't wait to play with y'all boys. Oh, God. I got announced as one of the captains for the football team this year. One of the three guys. All right, there you have it. Three outstanding young men leading the Tiger football program in 2022. Now stay with us. Next up, we've got all the exciting highlights from LSU's season opener in the Caesars Superdome against Florida State. We're back after this on Inside LSU Football. This segment of Inside LSU Football is brought to you each week by Visit BR. The center of the college football universe in the early 2022 season will be here in the Big Easy. As tonight, the Florida State Seminoles take on your fighting Tigers of LSU. Jaden Daniels, the junior transfer from Arizona State, will be QB1 to start the season for Coach Brian Kelly. Snap is back to Daniels. Sprints out to his left, got a lot of room. To the 40, near side, 45 across midfield, steps out of bounds at the Florida State 40-yard line. Here's a snap to Daniels. Daniels goes right, now cuts back, misses the defender, stiff arms a man at the 22, and down the far side, Hash makes it to about the 16-yard line. Handoff, Goodwin, Goodwin with a big hole to the 10, up and 
down around the seven yard line. He'll pick up the first down for the Fighting Tigers. Again, Akeem Dennett on the tackle. The safety from Florida State. And LSU just keeps churning up the yards in this opening drive. Slade Roy to snap it back. Here it comes. Placement down. Kick is on the way. Kick is up. And the kick is good. And Damius Ramos gets the Tigers on the board in the opening drive here in the first quarter. On first down and 10 for the 25. Travis trying to find some room left side. The quarterback eventually runs into a wall. At the line of scrimmage, no gain on the play. Plenty of pursuit for LSU, led by B.J. Ojolari. Pistol formation for Travis. He'll take the snap, put it in the belly, and in trouble going nowhere is Trayshawn, or rather Toa Feely. Major Burns able to get out there on the left side. Got him down around the ankles and pulls him down. Two receivers right, two to the left. Empty backfield here for Jordan Travis. He'll step back. Pressure comes immediately. Rolling to his right. Throws off his back foot near side. It's incomplete down around the nine-yard line. Punt is in the air, and it's a beauty. Spiraling kick. Pittman having to backpedal. Takes it about the 14. And the Tigers are there to bring him down at around the 15-yard line. Hard to execute a punt better than that after a punt of 56 yards. Slade Roy going to be credited with the tackle on special teams, and that was impressive. Ford going to get the carry, trying to get out to the right side. This time the Tigers able to pounce and bring him down. A loss of two yards. Ali Gay and Major Burns. Gay hitting first to get him moving backwards. And then Major Burns, the sophomore out of Baton Rouge, comes in to clean him up. Fourth down, a little more than two. Travis takes the ball, throws it into the corner, and it's incomplete left side. He was looking for Micah Pittman. Sage Ryan with pretty good coverage that time. Had his hands up. Pittman couldn't haul it in. It's incomplete. And a turnover on downs gives it back to LSU. Three receivers bunch to the left side. Daniels fires across the middle. Catch going to be made. Kyron Lacey has it at the 40. Slips out of one arm tackle. Makes his way down to the 34-yard line. And the transfer from UL Lafayette with a big catch there on a 17-yard gain. Motion Thomas. Here's the snap. Give to Kane. Puts his head down. This time he will find the end zone. Touchdown, Fighting Tigers. Noah Kane. J.D. takes the snap. In the pocket. Pressure comes from the backside. He feels it. Now will run. Tries to slide down and does so at the 35-yard line. Daniels again with time. Throws to Jenkins. Jenkins got it at the 15. Far side into the end zone. Touchdown, Fighting Tigers. 22-yard strike. Daniels gets it to Jenkins. And Jenkins maybe as wide open as he's been tonight. And again, just outran the back end of that defense to find the end zone in the backfield. Daniels under pressure, gets away. Daniels now running up the field, gets outside the numbers, far side across the 25, up near the 28, maybe the 29. It's enough for a first down with 41 seconds. Again, this time the Tigers will call a timeout. Snap the ball back to Daniels. Has time in the pocket. Now will decide to throw. Booty has it on the far sideline across the 40. Catch made at about the 42-yard line. Again, has time. Now decides to tuck and run. Gets by one man. Now to the 40. Stays upright. 35-30 and brought down at the 34-yard line. It's a first down for LSU after a gain of 23 yards for the Fighting Tiger quarterback. With one second remaining, the Tigers have one play left in them. Daniels. Looking to throw. Fires a bullet. Caught! Jure Jenkins back of the end zone. Touchdown, Fighting Tigers. Second touchdown of the night for the senior, Jure Jenkins. And the Tigers are a point away from tying this up. We continue on the path here on Inside LSU Football, the 2022 LSU football season. Game number one is in the books, a tough setback for the Tigers in the Superdome against Florida State. Coach Kelly had this reaction with the media after the game. It's, it's an opener and, and you know, you you saw a, a better rhythm. You know, we had some drop passes and we didn't protect as well, um, you know, that's a good team. They, you know, Florida State played well. That's why I congratulated them at the very beginning. They, they, uh, uh, for four quarters, they played better football, quite frankly. But yeah, we we got into a better uh, rhythm certainly in, in the second half. Jaden did, and he's he's a he's a threat. Um, but 
we don't want to rely on him having to go back there. And, and when he does sit in the pocket, we saw his ability to find open receivers, show the patient, patience, and, and in particular on the last touchdown, he stayed in the pocket, um, showed great patience, and, and found Dre Jenkins in the back of the end zone. You know, obviously more mistakes in the second half. We, we started to overcome some of those um, and, um, you know, played with, uh, you know, I would consider more of a sense of urgency um, you know, with the last 12 minutes, but, uh, you know, our margin for error was, was so small, um, that we couldn't make any more mistakes. Um, I was proud of our resolve. Um, we battled, um, but you know, we, we, we just have to learn how to play the game, um, the right way. And that is for four quarters. Um, we, we didn't play with, uh, the kind of sense of urgency that I want. Uh, for four quarters, and that was evident in our play. We didn't tackle very well. We couldn't get off the field on third down. Um, we didn't execute very well um, offensively. Um, we had two turnovers in, um, in in our punt return game, which we thought would be an asset for us, and then we had a blocked field goal and, and a blocked extra point. Uh, anytime you have those kinds of situations, you're setting yourself up for uh, a long night. And despite all of those things, I stand here in front of you with an opportunity to, to bring the game into an overtime situation. So I'm proud of the way we battled. What obviously we need to do better is play with a sense of urgency for four quarters, which we did not. Um, what we learned is we've got to coach better. I mean, we, we've got to have our kids um, coached in, in a manner where um, they're ready. And, and I'm accountable for that. And um, we have to have them tackling better, executing better in all phases. So as it relates to the, the field goal, it came from the same left side. We made an adjustment after the uh, field goal and, and made a, a switch in personnel. And um, that didn't work either. Um, that's, on, that's us. That, that's a, we have to do a better job coaching. Time now to wrap up this edition of Inside LSU Football. The Tigers will be right here in Tiger Stadium on Saturday night, kickoff at 6.30. The opponent, Southern University. For the first time in history, LSU and Southern will meet on the gridiron. It should be a great evening of football and fellowship, and also some pretty entertaining halftime performances by the Golden Band from Tigerland by the human jukebox from Southern. A great event here, week number two, LSU versus Southern here in Tiger Stadium. Kickoff is at 630. We hope you'll join us here in the stadium and you'll be able to catch all the action right here next week on Inside LSU Football. You are looking live at Tiger Stadium in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. That remains the best environment I have ever seen for a sporting event in any sport ever. It's louder than the rest. The place on Earth like Tiger Stadium after dark. The most electric atmosphere anywhere in football. The stadium starting to shake. Death Valley roars to life. A few better than the one you're about to witness here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. No place on Earth quite like it. The deafening display of unity. Inside LSU Football is brought to you each week by the seven partners that represent Team LSU. Cox, the official communications provider of LSU Athletics. McDonald's, official sponsor of the LSU Tigers. Our Lady of the Lake, 
official health care provider of LSU Athletics. Albertsons, the official grocery partner of LSU Athletics. Hancock Whitney, the official bank of the LSU Tigers. People's Health, the official health plan of LSU Athletics. And by Coca-Cola, official beverage partner of the LSU Tigers. Inside LSU Football is an exclusive presentation of the LSU Sports Television Network. The LSU Sports Television Network is a division of LSUSP and Playfly Sports Properties. I wanted to be with the best. The resources here are outstanding. We're going to immerse ourselves into the culture of Louisiana. Um, we're not here to change anything. We're here to get changed by it.